What's going on guys, my name is Subnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So TC White suggested a SMG from Modern Warfare 2, the MX-9. Now it's been a minute since I used this thing and I don't think I was too impressed by it back in Season 1, but let's see how it's performing now in Season 3. Before we get into the build I'm using for the MX-9, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the MW3 Mastery camos such as the Interstellar and Borealis camo, or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts, then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the MX-9 is as follows. We're using the Schlager TTF-3 Riser Comb for increased ammo reserve, the Bruin Q900 Rear Grip for increased ADS speed and sprint fire speed, the Kaimura RYL-33 Laser Light for the fastest possible ADS speed and sprint fire speed, the 508mm Rear Guard Barrel for a slight increased tower damage output, and last but not least, the 32 round mag. Thank you again to TC White for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure sure to drop a comment below. Now during this run we spent quite some time in the tier 3 zone and I'll be honest with you guys, the loot in the tier 3 zone these past few days has been absolutely abysmal so something needs to change. Let me know if you guys are having the same issue but um, yeah you guys are about to see what's up. And there we go boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone, as you can see we got the MX-9 at pack 2 with a legendary tool so let's just see how it's performing at pack 2. And yeah, damage output is definitely great on this thing. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't think we'll have any issues doing this bounty contract right here. So let's go ahead and pick that up. See what target we get to start it off. Hopefully we get a mega. Come on, give us a mega. And it's a disciple. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Disciple's right up ahead. Let's try to break his armor. Come on, there we go. We can hit a few criticals on him now. Let's do that blade real quick. Just take care of some of these. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> there we go. Back up. Throw that again. Perfect. All right, we might need pack three, man. I'm not going to lie. We might need it. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Let's shoot his arm. There we go. Nice. Let's try to eat into his health bar a bit. Did a nice amount of damage. Nothing crazy, though. Let's keep lighting him up. Took off about a quarter of his health bar so far. He's healing now. Oh no. Come on. Is it not going to stop the heal attack, dude? Hold up. Let's bring him back here. Dang, we're almost out of ammo. We just burned through all that. <laughs> Alright, let's come here. Nice. If only we could turn that mangler, man. There we go. Come on. Uh, just a few more shots. Let's throw that. Jeez, man. Okay, no. We definitely need to go get back. If we could turn the mangler, that would have been fire. Yeah. Oh, we did. Okay. Nice. 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 Let's get that mangler to help out with this disciple. There we go. Oh my god, man. Just look at that. Manglers are OP once you turn them. That's insane. Two self revives off that and shatter blast. Might as well take it. Okay, we need to quickly get this thing to pack three before we do another contract. So I'll see you guys once we got it at pack three. And there we go, we got it to pack 3. Let's see if there's a few. Oh, we got a disciple right there. Let's actually see how quickly we take this guy out now. Oh, yeah. Big difference in pack 3. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's a bounty contract. And there is. Let's go. There we go, got the contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mimic this time. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Where are you going to be? Back there. All right, let's see how quickly we take him out now at pack 3. All right, Mimic should be right there, yes he is. Don't see his health bar, okay, it took off almost, yeah, about a quarter of his health bar so far. We actually got him in a pretty good spot right there. Fortunately, those zombies kinda, kinda messed it up for us. Where you at, Mimic? Yo, where did this man go? Hold on, there we go. There he is, <laughs> he's almost dead. Very nice. There we go, come on, just a few more shots, and contract complete, quick and easy. Man, I wish we'd get brain rot here. 
All right, nothing too special. The tier three loot has been absolutely terrible the past few days. Um, let's quickly do that deliver cargo until we get another bounty contract to spawn in. And quite a few of you guys in the comments have been saying the same thing, that the tier three runs are just not what they used to be. And there we go, cargo delivered. Let's see what we get this time. Terrible, dude, oh my God. All right, let's go do that bounty contract. Hopefully we start getting some decent loot. I mean, we do have an Elder Sigil on us, so, you know, hopefully the Elder Dark Aether is better. And there we go, we got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a Mega. Let's go. Definitely excited about that. Uh, I don't like his spawn point, though, but we should be fine. All right, let's quickly land here, see if we can get his attention from up here. Probably not. We might have to drop down here in a second. Yeah, we'll have to just to get his attention so we can start triggering those laser attacks there we go laser attacks actually coming in nice already destroyed one of his faces that was actually pretty quick i can't lie there we go nice another laser attacks coming in let's just shoot into that middle face let's see how quickly we destroy it oh we're out of ammo boys hold up let's quickly pick some of that up nice i'll have to put on a few plates here just quickly save ourselves. There we go. <laughs> Movement is meta. <laughs> nice. All right, Mega. Hit us with another one. Come on. Ooh, just destroy that second face now. Yeah, it didn't take too much more. <laughs> there we go. Let's focus on that final face now. It's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Come on. One more laser attack should do it. There we go. Oh, no. Out of ammo again? Yo, is ammo an issue with this thing? That's, uh, yeah. We've been running out of ammo quite a bit so far. <laughs> Let's just use our ether blade to finish him off, I guess. Or actually, there's a zombie right here. Drop us some ammo, boys. No? Oh my god, man. <laughs> Alright. Ether blade it is. Come on, come back, blade. Oh, no. Did we just... Yeah, that just missed. Alright. Oh, hold on, boys. This might take a second. This, this might take a second. All right, we're, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> there we go. We got the kill. We got a wonder waff off that. Let's go. Definitely gonna stow that. Um, a symbol monkey. Nah, we Gucci, we Gucci. An extra three plate. I'll stow just as a placeholder. Um, actually, I might stow that symbol monkey. You never know. Just in case we don't get any Casimirs this run. All right. Let's see if there's another bounty and there's none. Um. All right, I'm gonna quickly hit an ammo depot and then hopefully a bounty contract spawns in by then. Nice refilled on ammo. Let's just, oh, there we go. Bounty contract spawned in right up ahead. That's perfect. Yeah, but ammo definitely seems to be an issue with this gun. Um, might have to prioritize picking up ammo at this point. All right, there we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target, no way, hellhound. There we go. <laughs> oh man. Thank God. All right, we got a Mega as our target. Let's go ahead and clap that guy real quick. There we go. Mega's right here. Let's land on this thing. Nice. Already triggered a laser attack. Let's focus on that face. Beautiful. I think I'll save ammo and only shoot if we can actually get criticals off. I think that might be the play to make. Ooh, we're going to have to drop down. Come on. Let's not go down. No. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we almost broke his face. It's all good, though quickly take some of these guys out we need ammo anyways there we go 420 nice all right let's quickly climb up here if we can if we can yo chill mega what is wrong with you bro <laughs> let's come up here okay hit us with another mega i'm ready i'm ready for it come on there we go laser attacks coming in now beautiful destroyed the second face let's pick up some of that ammo nice 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 all right, Mega, one more laser attack should do it. There we go. Oh, bad timing, though. Um, yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Come on. Aw, oh, that was so close. There we go. Let's quickly climb onto this thing. No? Okay, let's climb up here then, I guess. And this Mega. There we go. All right, that should do it. Just a few more shots. Oh, my God, that was a short laser attack. <laughs> Throw our blade. Nice. Easy kill right there. Uh, precision airstrike, nothing too special. And an extra self-res, why not? Thank you very much. All right. 
So there's no more bounties here. Uh, let's quickly go do that raid weapon stash contract, maybe. Just to stock up on some essence. We've got about 41,000. I would like to have about 70,000 by the time we finish this run. So, yeah, quite a few contracts left to do. Oh, never mind. Bounty contract just spawned in. We're definitely going to prioritize that thing. Nice, got the contract. Hopefully we get a... What target haven't we done? Uh, Mangler, I believe. Oh my, oh no. Hold on, chill, boys. Chill, chill. <laughs> Mimic we already did. A Disciple we did as well. Yeah, I think Mangler is the only one we have left. All right, let's head over there real quick. Take out that Mimic. All right, Mimic, come on. Come back here. Beautiful. Almost took off a quarter of his health bar already. About to hit that halfway mark. Yeah, the damage output is definitely decent. It's not crazy good. But, I mean, you can you can manage a tier 3 zone with this thing. No problem. There we go. There's probably a few other SMGs that are a fair bit better. Like, the Horus actually performed really good the other day. Uh, there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. Let's see what we got here. Napalm. An extra sigil. I will take... Thank you very much. Stow that blade. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies on us. Did not realize that. Got a little disciple here too. Let's go. Let's light that guy up. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Now it seems to perform better against like groups of zombies than actual HVTs. That might just be me, but we'll see. I think I'll give it my final rating once we're done with our Elder Dark Ether run. Hey, and another bounty contract just spawned in. Let's go. That's what I like to see. And there we go, we got the contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's another Mimic. Okay, we're getting <laughs> getting a lot of Mimics today, man. Hopefully we get a Mangler soon. I'm not leaving the Tier 3 zone until we killed every target possible. Oh man, Mimic just decided to die on us. What is this? Alright, PhD Flopper, an extra large bag. I'll swap that with the 3 plate. There we go, bruh. All right, I guess we'll do this raid weapon stash contract. Oh, never mind. Dude, I swear our luck. Let's go. Another bounty contract spawned in. Hell yeah. All right, man, we need a mangler this time. Come on, give us a mangler so I can go to the Elder Dark Ether and it's a mega. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to have a good amount of essence by the time this video is over. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty cool spawn point for the Mega as well. You can just drop down here, get his attention, and then keep triggering laser attacks from that little rooftop behind us. There we go. Let's take some of these guys out. Nice Mangler as well. Oh, hell yeah. Mangler's on our side now. Yeah, I want to see that Mangler fight off the uh, Mega Abomination. Bet he would absolutely rip through his health bar. Come on, Mega. Or Mangler, rather. Get the Mega. Get him! He ran the wrong way! No way! <laughs> I actually wanted to see how it performs. It's all good though. Alright, let's focus on that middle face. Should be able to break it before we go down. There we go. Nice. That's what I like to see. Let's quickly climb up here. And there we go. Should be able to get the kill from up here. Nice. It's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Yeah, so once it's a pack three with a legendary tool, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely a good gun. Like I said, though, definitely not in the overpowered category. <laughs> and there we go, contract complete. Let's see what we got off that. Pack one crystal and a cluster mine. Ah, <sighs> what is this loot, man? All right, let's quickly do that deliver cargo just to get a bit of essence. You know what we need, though, boys? We need two Casimirs. Or actually, we only need one. So if we could get a free one off of one of these bosses, that would be very nice. Actually, you know what? Maybe those monkey bombs might do the trick for our ether extractor contract. It's actually... Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and equip it. Let's go. That should do it. We only need two anyways. We can ether shroud for that final extractor later on. And there we go. Delivered that cargo. Let's see what we got this time. And brain rod. Let's go. Definitely gonna grab that. Thank you. All right, let's see if there's a bounty. Oh, there's two bounty contracts, actually. All right, let's go for that one first. Quickly gonna use our Scorcher. Scorch my way over there, hell yeah. And there we go, got the contract. Hopefully we get a Mangler off this one. And it's another Mimic again. Oh my God, man, we're getting a lot of Mimics today. <laughs> what is this? I'm not gonna complain though, man. We have a nice amount of Essence right now. We're almost back at that 100K mark, which is definitely great. 
All right, Mimic, come on. There you are. Start lighting that guy up. Ooh, hell no. Sucked us off. Or in. Oh, damn. Hold up. I need to chill here. <laughs> here we go. Mimic's got about a quarter of his health for our left. And there we go. Contract <laughs> complete. And we got the ray gun plan, so let's go. Hell yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and drop a normal sigil. I think that's... Uh, Fair enough. Ooh, got a little disciple behind us. Let's quickly take him out. Very nice. All right, perfect. And we have another bounty contract right behind us. Hopefully we get a mangler this time, boys. Like I said, I'll stay here until we get that mangler. I'm not giving up. There we go, got the contract. Fingers crossed it's a mangler and it's another mega abomination. Man, I swear the game's trolling me right now. Nice, let's take out this. Oh, Disciple's on our side, actually. That's probably even better. Let's go ahead and light that guy up. There we go, one face destroyed already. Focusing on that second face that was glowing. There we go. Come on, Mangler, or come on, Disciple, rather. All right, let's quickly climb here. Oh, come on, we can make it. There we go. Trigger laser attacks from up here now. Beautiful. Let's focus on that middle face. Should break it any second. There we go. Nice. One more. Oh, hell no. There we go. A good head glitch right now. Beautiful. Let's throw that. Oh, come on. Let's climb up here again. Beautiful. All right. Should be able to get the kill from up here now. Nice. Laser attacks coming in. Oh, we don't actually see. Oh, wait. Hold on. I was hitting criticals through that. Okay. Not going to question it. Let's pick up some ammo here. So yeah, that's the uh, only negative to this gun. You definitely seem to run out of ammo pretty fast. We do have that nuke right there, but let's just finish him off with the gun. There we go. We can take the nuke now. Hell yeah. Nice. All right, let's see what he dropped for us. Nothing too special. Let's see what we got. A three plate and shatter blast. Yeah, man, that's been uh, that's been a pretty dry run so far. <laughs> All right, I'll fly around for a bit. Hopefully, we get a mangler with our next bounty contract. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. And there we go, man. Another bounty contract just spawned in, so let's quickly grab that. Nice, we got the contract. Let's see what target we get. Hopefully it's a mangler and it's a disciple. Okay, okay. Ah, let's go take that guy out. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I might have to call it after uh, the bounty contract after this one. We'll see, we'll see. There we go. Beautiful. Nice, let's focus on the Disciple, and we broke his armor, which is great, so we can actually start doing critical damage on him. There we go. Let's keep lighting him up. Ugh, there we go. Let's throw that again. Beautiful. See, that's the only thing I hate about Disciples, man. They just keep spawning zombies on you, you get them weak, and then they start healing. And it's just a mess. There we go, he's gonna try to heal. Stops his heal, very nice. Yeah, so once you're at pack 3, Disciples really aren't an issue. Oh, laser attack's coming in. Let's focus on the Disciple still. Come on, just a few more shots. There we go. Contract complete. Very nice. A epic tool, quick revive, and a rare tool. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this loot, man. Absolute garbage. Alright. Guess I'll wait for another bounty contract to spawn in. And there we go. Bounty contract just spawned in back there, so let's quickly fly over and grab that. After this one, I'll have to go over to the Elder Dark Aether, not just because of time limitations, but also because the Tier 3 zone is starting to get a bit contested. And we got a Mega. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this game hates me. There we go. Mega's right there. Let's take these guys out. Ah, oh, they didn't drop any ammo for us. That's unfortunate. We definitely need some ammo. Nice, just destroyed one of his faces. There we go, some ammo on the ground. Beautiful. Let's get up to our little spot right here. There we go, got that mimic downstairs. Oh, let's quickly try to climb back up. Oh no, there we go. Oh hell no. Hold up. There we, <laughs> there we go. Let's fix on that face to the right. Beautiful. Nice, we just broke that. Just one face left to go. Come on, Mega. Nice. Alright, let's focus in. Oh, he's so close to dying, man. That was a short laser attack. Come on. Just a few more shots. And there we go. Contract complete. Very nice. Let's see what we get off of that. And it's a cluster mine in death perception. 
Wow, that's some that's some great loot right there. Let's go. I'm so excited. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Ether portal. Let's use that sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier 5 zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the tier 5 zone. So once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse right here. This is where you find the first contract, being the bounty contract. So just pick it up right here in the corner. And we got a Mega Abomination. Now the Mega spawn point is static over at C8. There's a bunch of fog back there, so I'll make my way over there and then show you guys my strategy for taking him out. There we go, Mega Abomination's right here. He's gonna hit us with a laser attack, so let's try to destroy one of his faces while we're at it. Hopefully we can, not sure if we did, but his laser attack definitely stopped, so just try to lure him over to this little parking area back here so that you're out of the fog, and then you can actually just keep alternating between the rooftop I'm climbing up right now and the one across from us to continuously trigger his laser attacks. And there we go, let's focus on that middle face, he's about halfway dead. So we are definitely working this guy, there we go, did a lot of damage to him. Ooh, some ammo right there, definitely gonna grab that. Let's come over to this rooftop back here, ooh, hitting us with a laser again, huh? Let's do some work. Yeah, come on. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Let's quickly climb. Oh, hell no. We were already up there, man. Chill. Chill, boys. Chill. All right, let's come over here. Should be able to trigger a laser attack from this place as well. Ah, uh, he's not focused on us. Oh, hell no. What was that? Quite a bit of lag right there. Let's keep lighting him up. All right. Guess we'll come up to this rooftop again. What is up with the Elder Dark Ether, man? This is like the third video in a row. Keep hitting those shots. Ooh, let's throw that real quick, actually. Very nice. He's so close to dying, man, I swear. Come on, Mega. One more laser, and he's doing it. Let's go. Thank you. There we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we got off of that. Uh, I saw Bloodburner Key. Nothing too special, though. Yeah, just Bloodburner Key and a self revive. Uh, some pretty, pretty poor loot right there. Alright, let's make our way to this rooftop right here. This is where you find the second contract, being the Outlast contract, and that's right up here. Now there's a ladder you can climb at the back of the building, or you can get up these stairs. Or, of course, if you have a Scorcher, just use that by all means. Pick that up, that's going to ping the P&D device over at the diner. So, since we have the Scorcher, we might as well quickly use that, just fly over there. Now, if you don't have a Scorcher, just parachute off that rooftop, land in this foggy area down here, and then just run up the hill and make your way into the diner. So let's just come right here, and there we go. Let's get this P&D device activated. Very nice. Once that's active, just run back over to this back room here, and climb on top of these little fridges. Now, once you're here, you can just chill here. All the zombies are going to pile up right here. And of course, if you have Deadshot Daiquiri, you can just uh, go to work with whichever gun you're using, as you can see. Definitely an easy contract, so I will see you guys once I'm done with it. And there we go, contract complete. Now, once you finish that, most of the zombies near the reward rift are going to die. The zombies back in the kitchens might still be alive, so just come over here and then take them all out while they're running towards you. Got that little disciple on us as well. Let's actually use our blade real quick. Oh, two disciples, actually. There we go. Killed one. There we go. Both of them are dead. Let's see what we got off that. A dog bone and some perks. Boys, is the game just trolling me right now? I don't know what's up, man. This is just terrible at the moment, man. What is this? So, <laughs> once you finish that contract, make your way over to the mall. That's I-6 on the map. Now there's a few ways you can get up here. There's a staircase inside the mall. There's an ether tier in that building. I think you can see it right there. Then there's also an ether tier in that little building right there. Or you can come up through the parking garage. Or if you have a scorcher, of course, just fly up here, right? And just pick up the bounty contract right here. Or <laughs> the ether extractor contract. My bad, my bad. And just start running west immediately, and as you can see up ahead, the three extractors just landed. So just make your way over here. Now, if you don't have a Scorcher, just run along the rooftop and parachute down, of course. 
but um, since we have the Scorcher, we might as well use it. Now, generally speaking, I'd recommend throwing a Casimir at the ground right there behind the extractor. But since we have a Monkey Bomb, we might as well test that thing out. Okay, it uh, works like a charm. Works like a charm. <laughs> Happy to see it. Alright, then just start running towards the second extractor up ahead. Let's throw our blade real quick. Uh, the only issue is monkey bombs take a second to throw. Oh my god. There we go, we got it. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Now let's just run towards that third and final extractor. And let's throw a monkey bomb right there. Ugh, nice. That does a trick. Now let's just quickly disable this one. And there we go, all three extractors disabled. Now just wait for that to blow up and contract complete. Let's see what we got off this one, the blood burner key plans, which I will definitely take. Thank you very much. Mag of holding looks kind of juicy, so I went ahead and dropped that sigil. Um, let's actually see if we have any sigils left on us, and we don't. Uh, then again, the normal sigils are fairly common in the tier three zones. I guess we can get another while recording the next video, so that's all fine. 107,000 essence, very nice, love to see it. We pretty much doubled our essence count with all those tier three contracts we did. Very nice. All right, so my final rating for the MX-9 is gonna have to be, what should I give this thing, man? Mobility wise, it's decent. Damage output is okay, it's nothing crazy. I think I'll have to give this thing maybe a seven out of 10. There's definitely a lot of SMGs you can use that are going to outperform this thing. But um, yeah, thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out. Comment with any suggestion for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always... Goodbye.